On this week's show, you're going to see some very disappointing highlights, but we're going to put that behind us and go on to greater things with the Chicago Bears. So stay with us. The Tom Landry Show with Cowboys head coach Tom Landry and sportscaster Brad Sham. The Tom Landry Show is brought to you by GTE, the Communications Connection, and by Republic Health Corporation and its family of East Dallas hospitals. Hi again, everyone, and welcome to another Tom Landry Show. The Cowboys are now two and four after their game against the Washington Redskins, and the last time you did that, you wound up with a, a winning record for the season, which I think was 1974, but that's not going to help you now. The point is, mm -hmm. uh, it's really a little too early for people to be giving up on your season, I guess. Well, it really is, and, and, and the unfortunate thing is we're in a very tough part of our schedule right now. I mean, we're playing, uh, we just played uh, the Washington Redskins, now we're going to play the Chicago Bears, and we're going to play Philadelphia and Cincinnati and St. Louis and all. So we've got a real tough schedule game ahead of us but you never know once your momentum changes and you get to moving and you're making the plays and you could win a number of games well in the six games the Cowboys have played the Redskins game was really the only one where it wasn't to the end and we really didn't play very yeah we didn't throughout. play well we weren't very alert mentally and whether it's coming off of Monday night or what it is because we all knew it was a very important game heck you're playing the champion of the division you got to feel like that's a big game but sometimes it just doesn't come out even though you want it to uh, anything in the game that particularly disturbed you in terms of a setback or that you take away from it and say, well, maybe this is something we can build on? Well, it's not not much you could build off of this game. A, a game like this is always, the feeling is always there, you're not moving very well. So you get interceptions, you fumble the ball, you get big passes against you, and it all happens everywhere. On uh, Tuesday of this week past, Mike Ditka had a press conference on the on the speakerphone with the Dallas area media. And we'll talk more about the Bears in an upcoming segment, but Mike was talking like, boy, they're just so banged up, and you're tougher than they are now, and poor little old Bear. Mike was overdoing it a little bit. A little bit. He? I would say so for a Bear team and their defensive record. That's right. So this, this game presents the biggest challenge you've had this year? Yeah, it's the biggest offensive challenge we'll have in there. Defensively, uh, we won't be in challenge anymore than we were against the Redskins. Speaking of the Redskins, highlights and lowlights, and we'll look at both of them when the Tom Landry Show continues. The Cowboys game with the Redskins last Sunday didn't go very well, and it certainly didn't go nearly as well as the start. Why is it so, it seems so many times when you start a game, great, something bad happens after that? You know, I don't know what they, one thing happens there, you either knock the team bad or you get beat, and, that, and this happened to be the time we got beat. Well, the reason was the Redskins did more good things after their first possession. That was when the Cowboys had one of their big moments. That's where we'll pick up the highlights now with Jim Jeffcoat causing a fumble by Redskins quarterback Mark Rippon. Of course, great rush in here. You see Jim making his escape over here from this side on the tackle right here. You see he got an edge on him right there. That's mm -hmm. where the edge came, and he came on around and caused a fumble, and Ed Jones fell on it, and that put us in excellent position for the first touchdown. Jim's pretty happy there, too. Yeah, he really is. Of course, we're in our third down uh, situation here, and, and we're going to catch Martin over the top. Now, they, they bumped and run us and played us man awful strong in this game, but this time, for some reason, like most teams are doing down this plus tier, they go in the zone. And when they did, they left Martin open because Martin comes over the middle, deep behind the linebacker, see? And he mm -hmm. made a great play, a great throw. Boy, you couldn't make a better throw than that than Steve made, and he almost got in. Got down the one-yard line, and... We come back with a little second effort from Newsom here. We're going off of this tackle position right here. Of course, they're in their goal line defense charging hard. They kind of stood up Chandler there for a minute, but Chandler went ahead and finished him in there, and that enabled Newsom to bounce off of him and go ahead and cross the goal line for the touchdown. It was an excellent play, and things looked awful good at that moment. But in the first quarter, the Redskins came right back. 
course, what they've done now, and it, it was a good game plan for them. What they did, they got away from our front four and the rush, rush defense we had, and they went to their nickel defense uh, uh, formation, offensive formation. This is Bryant who plays. Anytime you see Bryant over here, they're in their regular 4-0 defenses on third down. They played that a lot in the ball game and caught us, you know, in man-to-man -man type of coverage here. We missed the... You got a blitz on, too. Yeah, we got a blitz on here, and we missed the coverage here on the play from this situation. See, I think Mike was the one that was coming up here kind of faking a, a, a safety blitz, but mm -hmm. then we had a Cobb blitz in there, and then we turned Bryant loose. Bryant had a great day, but a lot of it was because of the way we played him in here. Of course, we just... Hesitant right here uh, in there. We really, Ron France hasn't gotten back. He's a good, tough tackler and a good football player. But he just come off an injury a couple weeks ago, and he just hasn't been able to return the form. These other guys are at, at full speed right now in, in the NFL. Of course, here we come back again, and this time we're on a blitz right here on the play. And what happened on this play here, We our defensive back switched him off. Now, we're, we're usually on a blitz here. We don't switch receivers, so it's, it's too hard to get get back up so when he was coming around here he was coming over France was coming over to cover his man right there coming in and then they switched and of course it put him in an awkward position there was no chance for Francis there to make the man-to-man -man coverage there after having to switch on the play and those are the kind of things that hurt you you know in the game you make those kind of mistakes so the other man was put Williams and was supposed to yeah he stayed his own man he had to, he had him had position on him so when when, when he came off he'd have had him bumping and running from the inside and when he went to the post he probably would have had him covered all right now it's seven seven you got the ball back of course this is a this is a play here which uh, is something you have to learn here now you watch Fleur as he comes back in here he moves a little bit he feels something but see him move and, and throw off his back foot you know without strength and you lose all your speed right there the ball and he has him out here and he would have had him but uh, Coleman comes in front of it and makes the interception and takes it on in. But that's just throwing the ball off of a bad thing. You don't want to ever throw across your body to the far side of the field because you're going to get it picked off if you do. Now, the touchdown was brought back by a clipping penalty, so they're still driving. Now, here's a situation. We talk about this a lot here. We know, you know, basically that when, when they get down here, he doesn't go outside. He runs circle routes against us in here. Now, you get him out in the field, he'll run outs on you. But here he comes down, and, and we just overplay in there. Williams overplays him for an outside move instead of taking away his inside. We're all man here, so it means he's got to take away his inside, force him into an out, and if he catches the out route, you can run him down before he scores. But if you let him inside, there's no hope. You know, he's going to beat you for a touchdown. So now it's 14-7, but uh, here you come back. Now, now here's a matchup you'd love to see. Walker on a linebacker. Yeah, well, this is a good move here. We're running a play here, and, and they did a lot of pressure on the play. You see a lot of bump and run. When you see that kind of bump and run going on there, then they're playing man coverage on you. And when you get man coverage in here, and you put that puts him on a linebacker every time they're in man coverage. And so we, we run across here, and, and we run a crossing route and runs that defensive back into him, and, it breaks, and then he breaks off of there and made a good move in there. We should have almost, we could have had a little more room there. We could have laid it up and gone for a touchdown on that play. But he, Herschel caught a couple of excellent plays in the ball game here. Now we're in a 45-yard field goal. Again, Roger is starting to kick a little better now. He's getting a good thump on the ball. And you watch his height. This is the thing we liked about him all the time. His height goes up so good right over the, over the line where he very seldom ever gets anything knocked down from the line of scrimmage. Here's a good move by Ed here. It's a good handover move here. You watch him slap him on the shoulder there and come over the top with his other hand and beat him right now. And he traps uh, Ripken. That's a good tackle he beat too. The yeah, it really was. Now here's another interception. This was a miscommunication. Now here's here. a play here that, that we work on since training camp right here. What happens to him is he, he's supposed to look back and he's supposed to watch the quarterback and because if he gets a blitz right here, this is a hot receiver here, and we can't block him in there normally. If these two guys come here, we can't block it. So either what, one of them or either, both? Both of them. Okay. But anyway, he, he comes off of this read right here, and so there he is. He's right there. All he has to do is hang in there, and he catches the ball, but he didn't do it. You know, he, he broke down his route, and then he turned it over, and they intercept the ball. Now, everybody sees Fuller do that, and they say, well, hey, it's his fault all the time. But, hey, it's, it's all part of a team effort here that we're working on, and everybody has to do their job. These are things that really hurt us. Well, we made interceptions, and they run them back, 
you know, all day on us, and we didn't have any field position in this football game. All right, now they're going to move with that interception. Here's a draw play, and this was effective for them. Very too. effective in here on the on the draw play. Now, we, we were supposed to have a stunt on, I'm sure, here, because we don't ever split outside like that. So somebody was coming around, and the other one was going in, and we go right off of there, and, and Brian breaks it right on out of there. Of course, everybody else is man-to-man -man downfield. And, of course, he made a good move. Bright just had a great day for us. He was a thorn in our side, for sure. Now, here's another one. What happens on this one? Now, here's a situation here where uh, we are blitzing in here. Anytime you blitz and you end up with a running play, you got a chance to split the defense here. I mean, Noonan's going inside. Uh, uh, of course, Lockhart. our middle linebacker, Lockhart, is running on the play, and it opened a hole right there and split us. And he broke right back inside, and it's a touchdown. But that's a gamble you take blitzing. Everybody wants you to blitz and put pressure on, but when you miss a blitz, then it's really costly on you. Right, now it's 21-10, and here comes this one, I think. Yeah, this was this the one. Really yeah, did. this thing really put us down right here. We had a chance up until then, and uh, we just uh, let it get completely away from us on that particular fumble. He's he just not uh, thinking about protecting the ball? Yeah, just sometimes your ball is loose and you don't see it. Sometimes those guys, they watch those tacklers all the time, and they usually see them coming on the play. Now here's a situation here where we're, we've gone man coverage again in the secondary. Everybody's got a man right here from this situation. Now, uh, right here, Gene that made up his mind, uh, that's his man right here now, and he saw him blocking, and he saw him coming across, and he just said, well, I'm going to cover him, and he tried to cover him, and that's what broke it open. You know, if, if Gene stays here with his man right here, then we've got somebody to protect the lineman here, and we don't have anybody here on the play. And, that's, and those are the kind of errors that come when you're not concentrating well. Now it's 28-10, and uh, we're in the third quarter. Of course, it's another fine play. It's about the same play. It's actually the same play we ran a while ago off of what we call a zoom pattern with him breaking out and back in, and he goes in and picks up, he has to pick up a linebacker. These guys are bumping and running again. When they bump and run, then linebackers must cover Walker. And, of course, Walker is no match. I mean, they're no match for Walker. I thought we might score, but they happened to have a, a safety back in the middle there that kept us from scoring. And you might have got back in the game but here's another one of those nasty turnovers. Yeah, here's a situation here that just really, the linebacker just turned. We had a pretty good open shot right here, but he just turned and run, and, and for some reason Steve didn't see him and fired that ball right into him. And, uh, of course, they got the interception, and again they brought the ball out for a big gainer. And those things really hurt. Interceptions hurt enough, but, boy, those big runbacks just kill you in field position. Fourth quarter, you get it back. Of course, a good break here. We couldn't run Herschel as much as we'd like to in this ball game. We got, we've got fallen behind, you know, and uh, not making much success there, and we had to use him in the passing game. But, of course, that's what he does best right there is run the football. This is a touchdown. That's a great catch by Kelvin Martin. Yeah, tremendous catch here. Kelvin's coming out of the end zone, and he's on a top receiver, defender right there, and he puts the ball up. Makes a beautiful catch there. You don't make them much better than that. A great catch. And this kickoff return set up their last score. This one got away from you. Yeah, we had a, we kind of faked back there uh, the onside, and then we came back on the play, and we got an offside penalty. And then we had to kick again. We got him way down there before, and that was a big play. That gave him the field position they needed to, to do the job. All right, that's enough of that. We'll talk about the Chicago Bears when the Tom Landry Show continues. Even last week, very close for the season, doing these. It's hard to, with all these people getting hurt around. Yeah, it really is hard anyway to pick anymore. out, see who's, who's got people who can play, really. Of course, this Atlanta-Denver game, you know, Denver's coming off of another, you know, tough overtime game last Sunday. And, uh, but Atlanta, I don't think, has gotten anybody back yet, so you have to take Denver at home. I agree, Denver. 
Now here, now how long is Cincinnati going to go on? I don't know, but I tell you, I think I don't think I think New England will bounce back from their dismal performance against Green Bay. But I have to take Cincinnati. They're too much momentum going for them. Right Me now. too. And New England has quarterback problems, so Cincinnati will be my pick. Now, and the Giants got to come back. You know, they lost a big one to, to Philadelphia that they might have won. Although I thought they were probably won. outplayed. Should have won. Ah should have won, okay. even though we both picked the Giants. That's right, we did, but yeah. I think the Giants will take Detroit. Detroit's playing good, but they just can't seem to get the points up. We're agreeing so far. I like the Giants. And i got to go to Minnesota. All right. Yeah, see what they Take your do. parka if you yeah, do they that. got to keep winning. Okay. I Houston take at the Pittsburgh. Uh, hmm. Now, this is one where the, at halftime, the two head coaches are going to just wrestle. I think that's right. <laughs> Golly, I, hate. I think I'll just take Pittsburgh just for fun. You can have Houston. Now. Well, see, the thing is, though, Brent Pease is their quarterback this week for Houston. For Houston or Pittsburgh? For Houston. Okay. But for Pittsburgh, it might be uh, Steve Bono. <laughs> uh, well, I'll flip the coin. Okay. Uh, no, I think you're right. I can't take you. Okay, I'll take Houston. No, he's a their best team overall. Oh, here we go. All right, I'll I don't believe it, but I'll take Houston just okay. to be different. Now, well, Bo Jackson is going back to Kansas City where he plays baseball. Well, I'm going to still take Kansas City. I don't think they're going to recover that quick. Now, they lost 7-6 to six to the Oilers last week. And the Oilers are a good team. And Kansas City is the one you're taking. Mm-hmm. <sighs> are you going to take a pick or are we going to pass? Kansas City. <laughs> okay, Kansas City. <laughs> New Orleans at I don't Seattle. Like that game. <laughs> oh gosh, that's, now this is good. This is this a is tough good. game here. Seattle leading that league? Yes, sir. Mm. Take them. Mm. I think I will. Okay. Just for upset here. Good. I'll New Orleans is a good football team. Yeah. Philadelphia at Cleveland. Cleveland's down to their fourth quarterback. I can't take Philadelphia. I'll take Cleveland. Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Now, how Phoenix, about the Phoenix uh, Cardinals leading the division? Yeah, I think Washington will come, bounce back and take them in, in D.C. Yeah, me too. And I think Phoenix is doing a great job, though. Well, I kind of hope old, my old buddy wins it. Oh, Gene, absolutely. But we'll both take the uh, Redskins. Uh, San Diego I got to take Miami. Miami. I got to take right. Miami at home. They're, they seem to be better than I think they are. Okay. Now, how about here? Well, I think I'm going to have to take um, hmm, San Francisco. See, I would have just... Sure, you'd take the Rams. I'll take yeah. San Francisco. And Tampa Bay and Indianapolis. Indianapolis better start, wins a few games. If they're going to do any good, I'll take them. You'll take Indianapolis? Yeah, me too. Monday night? Buffalo at New York Jets. Mm. Take the home team on Monday night. Mm. I'll take Buffalo. <laughs> I tried. I like Buffalo. And, of course, we know Dallas and Chicago. Oh, definitely. Yeah, this is going to be a runaway. Right. Well, I, well, <laughs> well, we'll see. We're going to have a good game against them. I, I bet you we'll have a good game. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed and be back with you on our next Tom Landry show. The Tom Landry Show has been brought to you by Republic Health Corporation and its family of East Dallas hospitals. And by GTE, the communications connection. Gifts furnished for promotional consideration by Sterling Jewelry, featuring Seiko's winning combination of quartz accuracy and unique styling. And by True Value Hardware Stores and Home Centers, featuring the professional home protection starter kit by Black & Decker to help safeguard your home or apartment.